What's up everybody, this is Always back with the third part of our JavaFX Essential Training Series. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a sign up form. So I'm in a NetBeans right now. We're going to go and create a new project by clicking here and click on a new project. Select JavaFX application, click on next, name your application. So I'm going to type sign up form. All right, now let's click on finish. It's going to generate a default code for us, but we're going to get rid of that because I want to be teaching you everything. Let's get rid of the main code, but we're going to leave the scene code so we don't have to write that again. Let's leave that start method as well because we need that, right? Let's get rid of the scene and we only have a primary stage now. We have a main method down here, which is going to launch our application. It's giving us error because I've deleted every library we imported. So in NetBeans, if you press Control Shift I, it is going to import every library which is required for the program. Let's create a root node. So I'm going to go to Start Method. Let's enter here, and here I'm going to type Grid Paint. So Grid Paint is a layout, right? I'm going to take you to Java FX API documentation. So if you come here in the packages, I'm just trying to teach you guys that if you need something to learn or if you want to find something to create something right here, you'll find every single thing you need to create your software. So if you want to create, let's say, something graphical, right? You can come here and check out Java FX scene image library. If you want to work with a media, you can look at the media but we need to look at a layout now so i'm going to click on layout let's expand this part and then here we have a bunch of different layouts so we have vbox title pane stack pane and grid pane for sign up form the best is a grid pane because it lets you lay out your objects in a grid so i'm going to click on that we have information here that how to use this so if I go down here, you can see that we need to create grid pane, name of the object, new grid pane. Let's go back to NetBeans ID, and here we're gonna create a grid pane now. So grid pane, name it, sign, and then new grid pane. Now it's gonna ask us to import the library, but don't worry about that for now, because if I press Control Shift I, it's gonna import that, and there's no error anymore, so. I'm just going to write the code and then we will import every single library we need at the end of this program. So in the grid pane, uh, there's a few things I want to do first. So I'm going to type grid sign up and then dot. And on the method, I want to uh, align this grid pane in the center. For that, there's a method set alignment and then value is already there, pure center, right? I want to add a few more things here. So sign up dot, I'm going to add horizontal gap, all right? So set edge gap. Now for the value, I'm going to type, let's say 15. Okay, sign up dot set V gap. And here we're going to type 15 as well. You need to add a scene. So for the scene, I'm going to use S, C E N E and then I'm gonna name it scene. We'll go new scene and let's come down here. In the scene we need to add grid pane as well. So for that I'm going to type sign up and I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm just gonna add a button here first to show you guys what's happening here. And I'm gonna run the program. Okay, so we have this uh, grid pane. And for now, I don't see any button here because we need to add that button to our scene. So to add that, we need to type, we're gonna add that scene to our grid pane. So for that, I'm gonna type sign up dot add, and then type your object name. So that's BTN for a button. And then I'm going to type comma zero comma zero okay what it's going to do basically this is a grid pen right so we're gonna tell that we're we gonna we want this button to appear so i want this zero column and zero row now let's run the program and let's see what we have okay so as you can see that we have a 
hello YouTube button there right so now we're gonna add form so I'm gonna get rid of this button and I'm going to get rid of that object as well now we're gonna start building our form well this is pretty much the same thing that's what I'm going to use is I'm going to use that's a travel by the way I will explain to you guys in the next video it's a very useful tool for programmers okay so if I go to controls and in the controls you can see that buttons checkboxes what we need is we need labels and we need text areas and we need two buttons to make a sign up form and then we need a password field as well I'm gonna start writing the code and once I'm done with the code then I will explain to you guys it's very easy if you have any questions you can leave a comment below but all I'm gonna do is just gonna add these objects to our sign up form and then I will come back and explain to you guys anyway so I'm gonna fast forward from here <laughs> so now let's look at the code I'm gonna explain to you guys what I did but before that I'm gonna show you what we have so far so this is our sign up form we got first name last name email and password right as you can see that if I type password it wouldn't show you the text right let's uh, close the program the first thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the grid line visibility to false and now we should have a more cleaner look of our sign up form let's look at it. yep that's fine okay so now let's come down here and first object we added is a label f name l i'm gonna name it first name as a text and then i added that to my sign up grid pane right so as you can see that this is a grid pane this is the object so i did that by using the add method and I named that my object label object and then we're gonna specify that of where I want to add that so in a grid you're gonna say the first value is a column and a second value is a row so I'm saying here that add this f name l label object to zero column and zero row next we added text field so we created a new object with text field and I named it F name and same thing we did that down here sign up dot add and then I added that F name object and now this time I added that to row number zero which is second value and the first value is one so one column column I want this to be the number one column so as you know that the Java uh, array start from zero not from one so that means this is second it's gonna be the second column so one and zero so zero is a uh, row is gonna be the first one and this is gonna be the second column the same thing we did with all the objects such as a label I name L so last name that's where we put it zero column so number one row so this time we're gonna go to let's say I'm gonna show you the program okay so this is a column and there's two columns right right now so this is the first row which is has the first name second row third row fourth row and fifth row for this button so on the first row we have this first name and we have this text field right so here we have zero zero and then we have one one second row and then we have two two or three three for the next row and then we have four for our label password and then we have six row number six here for our button so it's very simple um, same thing I'm just following the grid and I'm just gonna tell that I'll oh, add this from here add this to this row add this to this column so that's not that hard all right so thanks for watching guys and um, I hope you like this video and I'll be back with the next part of our Java FX essential training series. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.